Hi, I'm Anthony Ross and welcome to this month's sales review. Ask any buyer about how they're finding conditions in the market at the moment and there will almost always be some frustration about the lack of stock and high levels of competition. As we get closer to winter, we're actually seeing about half as many properties online as we would see in a more balanced market. It seems everybody who is ready to sell is actually waiting for something to buy first, which is creating somewhat of a stalemate in the market. Those people who are in a position to sell are capitalising on favourable selling conditions. With limited choice, buyers are turning up to open homes in bigger numbers, which is resulting in more interested buyers per property. Numbers of registered bidders at auctions is up, which is resulting in record high clearance rates. We had one weekend with an auction clearance rate of 97% in the Inner West. That meant three properties didn't sell at auction on that particular weekend. The Inner West has been one of Sydney's top performing areas. As a matter of fact, postcode 2041 has just been named as one of Sydney's top 10 wealthiest suburbs. With interest rates taking a further reduction, cash is as cheap as it's ever been and we are finding buyers have a little bit more confidence to stretch themselves further than they may have otherwise. The property I'm coming to you from today is 12 Norman Street in Roselle. Matt Hayson and Georgie Glover sold this at auction for 1.375 million. Not bad considering our client only paid 950,000 for it late last year. That's 45% growth in seven months. This isn't happening across the board, but just does go to show that buy frustration at limited stock is leading to some premium prices. Always keen to get involved in our local community. Last month we had Julie Hatch from our Annandale office supporting the Toxteth Kindergarten Trivia Night and Peter Gordon from our Balmain office supporting the Roselle Public School Annual Fundraiser. Thanks very much for watching. That's it from me. Look forward to seeing you out and about.